Hello and welcome to Numbers of Chromosomes for some equine species. Alright, so not all equine species have the same number of chromosomes and we're going to explain what the difference is. So, first off, haploid is the term used when a cell has only one set of chromosomes. A normal eukaryote organism is composed of diploid cells one set of chromosomes from each parent. However, after meiosis, the number of chromosomes in gametes is halved. Diploid means they have two sets of chromosomes, one set inherited from each parent. So the following list will have the scientific name, the common name, and the number of diploid chromosomes as this little graphic depicts. Okay. First off we have Equus Kabbalas Preswalski uh, or Preswalski's horse which has 66 diploid chromosomes. Equus Kabbalas or the horse has 64. Equus Asinus the donkey has 62 diploid chromosomes. Equus hemonius, uh, which encompasses the onager, kiang, and asiatic wild ass, has 56 diploid chromosomes. Equus grevii, or grevy's zebra, has 46. Equus bruschelli, which encompasses bruschelles, uh, Dharma, uh, Chapman's, Grant's, and Boehm's zebra uh, has 44 diploid chromosomes. And Equus zebra, which is the mountain zebra, zebra, true zebra, and Hartman's zebra has 32 diploid chromosomes. But what about mules? They are an equine hybrid and as such have an odd number of chromosomes, 63. Of course, the cross between a jack, which is a male donkey, and a mare, a female horse, gives you a mule. The cross between a stallion, which is a male horse, and genet, a female donkey, gives you a hinny. Well, what is a hinny? A hinny is typically smaller, more horse-like, with shorter ears and a longer head, and they're harder to produce than mules. Mules, though, exhibit normal sex drives, but are generally considered infertile. But, as this picture shows, strange things do happen. Um, there have been a couple instances of fertile mules who give birth um, and are sort of often been seen as sort of signs of the apocalypse or whatever by uh, remote cultures, but uh, everything's still good. So, moving on. Uh, mules and hennies are not the only hybrids. Uh, they're collectively known as the zebroid family, so any crossing off of a zebra uh, would be placed into the zebroid family, including the uh, Zorse, which is a cross between the horse and Grant's zebra. Uh, the Z-Donk, which is a donkey and a zebra. Um, they're sterile, just like mules. And have an odd number of chromosomes, though I was unable to find a number specifically for this particular animal. So there you have the numbers of chromosomes for different equine species.